Hi everyone, this is Dr. Priya S. P. Patil, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist of LTS Hospitals. So today, I am going to take you through the journey of IVF. If you have been recommended for IVF, then continue watching this video to know more about the procedure. So we all know that in vitro fertilization is IVF. This involves transfer of gametes of male and female egg and sperm in the laboratory and formation of the embryo which is thereafter inserted back into the women's uterus. So what we will do is this procedure starts on day 2 of your cycle. Day 1 is considered as the day of menstruation and day 2 is when the IVF journey begins. So a hormonal profile is done. And if normal, we start ovarian stimulation. What is the stimulation? These are hormones which are purified, which are injected into your body so that we anticipate as much as ovarian growth in terms of eggs. So the injections amount from day 2 to day 11, sometimes day 12 and sometimes day 13 depending on the requirement and from day 8 of your cycle you will have to undergo an ultrasound to see your endometrial lining and also the number of oocytes and their size. Once we have attained the respective size of the oocytes you will be given a trigger. The trigger will cause ovulation in your body and before that ovulation occurs we have to go grab those eggs from your body and that is termed as oocyte pickup. This is a daycare procedure where you will be given anesthesia. A small needle is passed through your cervix to reach the ovaries and all those eggs are sucked and kept. So when the maturity of the eggs are noted, these ovums are ready to be fertilized by your husband's or partner's sperm. So the sperms are taken from the semen which is provided by your partner and studied for their morphology. And once that is done, there are two methods. One is the classic IVF, where if the sperm parameters are normal, the sperms are left in a petri dish in the lab to fertilize the ovum on their own. But in case the sperms are defective or there is extreme teratospermia, we choose the selected sperms and sperms are injected right into the ovum. And this procedure is known as ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Once the embryo is formed, we note the embryo growth for one to two days. That is, the embryos are usually transferred on day three or day five. The day five embryo is known as a blast and that is our preferred outcome. The doctor or the gynecologist, depending on your profile, decides if it is going to be a fresh embryo transfer or a frozen embryo transfer. The fresh embryo transfer is done in the same cycle where the frozen embryo transfer is done after preparation of your uterus to attain the optimum endometrial lining. This embryo transfer does not require any anesthesia. You will be all awake. It is done in 5 minutes under an ultrasound guidance. And voila, that is it. The IVF process is now complete and now we hope for your uterus to accept the embryo to form the precious baby. Once this is done, then your beta HCG hormones raise and that will give us a positive test when we test you the next week. Thank you.